Moving on to our fourth guard, our last low guard, Chin Uh This is going to be a little bit shorter than the last one because there's not as much here. And a lot of it is simply using the right foot to do the work for us. But there are some interesting uh, pieces here that will be fun to look at. So starting with the sword by itself, we can use Testa against the Magrito. Again, really only somewhat great against the Fenente, but if it's another, if it's another Magrito, I can just get my sword in the way, and this will allow me to either cut to the head, and maybe in the, in the case of the Fenente, thrust to the chest. So we're going to make contact and either cut to the head, or we are going to make contact and thrust to the chest. That said, this isn't the best option we have. But we have some others. Against the Fenente specifically, we could use Entrare to get to the outside of it. So reaching out and thrusting with a palm facing down. But of course, it's only going to work against the vertical attack. We won't have the time or space to do that against the diagonal or the horizontal. Uh, I could also use the Faccia here. Which is kind of what we should try to do if we can. So step into it. It's very likely we're going to parry, so he actually gets the second action here, which is continuing the motion and hitting with the regress of stone on something to the head. So our last option here is using, using the false edge again and beating, cutting to the head. Only if I get a great beat, I can beat, come right back down with a slicing my burrito to the face, maybe the neck. So this one and the first one related, now we're both kind of going through this head-like position, but here I'm focusing on cutting, before I was focusing more on getting the thrust or the strands on the working. He does not show anything against a mandrito to the leg because it's kind of a crazy attack to do. So we can skip that. When we have sword and dagger, we have a couple options. We can use the dagger to defend as the primary and then hit with either a thrust or cut. So, coming on in, nice and strong. He also recommends a cut to the face. We can use the cross parry here, which functions a little bit different because it's really me just doubling up my weapons, allowing for an easier input counter. So we're here, we use the cross parry, which makes giving you a slightly stronger structure so I can do the Imbro Kata. Finally, we can also use the Mezzo Riverso to defend, again, against the Fenente most likely, and then that will turn into either a Imbro Kata to their flank. Well, it's going to turn into Imbro Kata to the flank. We won't have enough space to go anywhere else. So we beat, thrust, and then we get up there. Uh, he does show a defense against the leg here. For, for whatever reason, they decide to throw that. Uh, so we're just gonna extend our arm as if we're going to face guard and pull the leg back when we don't feel any anything from their weapon. And finally, click a hand. Just find the top of this. We will use the cloak defense again and go directly for the thigh or hit to the chest. And then we can also use Fatsha. So we're going to step in and either hit to the chest, or we're going to step in and cut to the leg. And of course, we can simply just use Fatsha he wants us to leave, 
with a Dorito style itself because of uh, where our hands are going to be. The reversal is going to be kind of difficult to do. And then finally, if I go low, you simply go to face guard, do nothing, pull the leg back, and they run themselves at that point. So that was Mandrito. Up next is Reverso, which is kind of a few more, um, more likely options, because we can do all of these against all angles where it's here. Mandrito Fenente is kind of the best thing for us to deal with.